Throughout human history, we've used vehicles to transport people and goods across large distances. The first vehicles emerged about 4,000 years ago, and over time they've become more useful and efficient. So having said that, join me for today's video as we take a look at the 15 oldest vehicles ever produced. Number 15. Golf Carts, 1930s Golf carts might just be the most unusual and most specific mode of transportation that we're going to cover today, but they have a fascinating history and so I couldn't resist. The game of golf is much older than the carts, of course, to the point where it's tricky to say exactly how long people spent wandering around golf courses and wishing there was a more convenient way to get from hole to hole. It's believed that the first ever motorized golf cart was used by a chap called J.K. Wadley in Texarkana, a region encompassing both Texas and Arkansas. He came up with the idea when he was in Los Angeles and saw an electric cart taking the elderly to a grocery store and back. Wadley started out by buying an electric cart and testing it out, but he discovered that it struggled to navigate when put to use on a golf course. Not long afterwards, in 1932, the first custom-designed electric golf cart was built, but it took a while for it to catch on. In fact, for the next 20 years or so, golf carts were most used by people with disabilities that stopped them from walking the huge distances that are involved in a typical 18-hole course. However, by the time that we reached the 1950s, the golfers had got over themselves and started using golf carts on a more widespread basis. Number 14. Trucks, 1916 Introducing the first ever truck, the auto car coal truck. It sounds like an old school steam engine that's fueled by shoveling coal into a furnace, but the name is a little misleading. The auto car coal truck got its name because it's designed to shift coal, not because it's powered by the stuff. These trucks don't exactly tick all the health and safety boxes, though. They come without seat belts, and if you want to start the engine, then you're going to use the hand crank. In fact, it's a miracle that these things were still road legal. And if you were unlucky enough to get into an accident while driving one, it's hard to say whether the vehicle would hold together. Fun fact about this particular truck is that one of the few remaining models is owned by Jay Leno, who drives it around Los Angeles. In fact, most of the footage that we can find of this bad boy has Leno behind the wheel, showing it off to fellow car enthusiasts. Perhaps even more amazing is that auto car still is around today, and they're still making trucks. They've come a long way from the early days and now stand at the forefront of the work truck market, but they're still in touch with their roots. In fact, in 2019, they brought back their original 100-year-old logo. Number 13. Airplanes, 1903 We all know that the first powered flight was thanks to the Wright brothers who began experimenting with airplanes towards the end of the 19th century, culminating in their first flight in 1903. Flight had long been an ambition of the human race, but it took centuries of scientific development for the first airplanes to take off. The first successfully powered flight from the Wright brothers took place in December, with Wilbur running alongside the plane as his brother Orville took to the skies. Of course, because it was their first time, we're not talking about anything like the distance that later planes would achieve, and the Wright brothers' flying machine was damaged beyond repair at the end of the session. The oldest airplane that's still capable of flying is called the Blériot 11, and it's notable for flying across the English Channel between the United Kingdom and France. As if crossing the water wasn't impressive enough back in 1909, it's over 110 years later and the 11 is still more than capable of making the trip again. You can also go and pay the exact aircraft a visit if you happen to be in Paris, where it's displayed in a museum. Don't worry if you don't happen to be there, though. There are plenty of other examples of the 11 in museums all over the world, including the old Rhinebeck Aerodrome in New York. Number 12. Yachts, 1902 I mean, who doesn't want to own a yacht? These days, we see them as the ultimate wealth symbol, and that's pretty much what they started out as, too. The world's oldest yacht is a ship called the Medes, which was built by Elisa Shipbuilding in Scotland and designed by G.L. Watson and Company. For the first 12 years of her life, she was used exclusively as a pleasure yacht, which is exactly what it sounds like. Then the First World War broke out and the Medes was given over to the war effort, serving as a patrol boat. The same thing happened during the Second World War, which the Medes survived in one piece. After the wars, it went back to private use as a pleasure craft. The Medes is still seaworthy, though it spent the years from 2003 to 2006 going through a refit to make sure it was still up to scratch. Even after this extensive refit, the Medes still has much of its original teak decking and mahogany paneling. Not bad at all for the world's first yacht. Number 11. Buses, 1898 
What's interesting about this particular vehicle is that there's not a single original bus design. Instead, Daimler or Daimler Motor and Gesellschaft designed four different models that were designed to cater from 6 to 16 passengers and with different engine outputs to go with it. This made Daimler the first ever manufacturer of commercially available motorized buses. Before the invention of the combustion engine, there were still buses in the sense that there were horse-drawn omnibuses, but they were so different to what we think of buses today that they're a different beast entirely. Interestingly enough, before the combustion engine, there were experiments with steam power and electric buses, and Carl Benz created a motorized bus in 1895, which ran on a commercially available route. But they weren't available for general purchase amongst the public. When the Daimler buses first gained acceptance, the Birmingham Daily Mail wrote about a pilot service, explaining, quote, Since they cope well enough with tough conditions encountered on Welsh roads and in the Welsh mountains, there need be no worries concerning their suitability for the forthcoming line service in Birmingham. End quote. Number 10. Tractors. 1896. Given that many countries were still in the process of mechanizing their farming industries when the Second World War broke out, it comes as a surprise to a lot of people to find out that the world's oldest existing tractor was manufactured in the 19th century, when Queen Victoria was still on the British throne. Built by Mechvorts, the Hungarian tractor was discovered by a guy called Graham Quick, and it's currently on display in a German museum. Unfortunately, not much is known about it, and it's unclear how it's designed or how it even works. What we do know is that it was once successfully used in agricultural settings and that there are no known surviving earlier tractors, which makes the Mechwarts tractor a hugely important milestone in vehicular and farming history. However, we do know that in 1869, J.J. Case and Company created a precursor to the modern tractor. It was powered by steam and mounted on wheels, but still needed to be drawn by horses instead of moving under its own power. I think it's pretty close, but not close enough to be the first true tractor. Number 9. Motorbikes, 1894. Motorbikes come to us from France, where in the 1860s a Parisian blacksmith called Pierre Michel created velocipeds, which were the first bicycles that had pedals. We will be talking about bicycles a little later on in this video. Michel was a true visionary, as was his son, Ernest Michel, who created the world's first steam powered motorbike. Called the Michaud Perrault Steam Velocipede that came out in 1867, it was the first indication of the direction in which things were heading. The first true motorbike was created by Hildebrand and Wolfmuller, a German company, in 1894. It was the first time that a commercial motorcycle went into production, and it was also the first vehicle to be called a motorcycle, albeit in German under the word Motorrad. Only a few hundred of the original motorrods went into production, and they were soon followed by England's Excelsior Motor Company, which produced the first motorbike in 1896. The United States followed suit in 1898, when Charles Metz and his team created the Orient Aster. Number 8. Cars, 1884. When most people think of early automobiles, they think of Henry Ford and his Model T that was available in every color as long as it was black. They don't often think about the La Marquise, which comes to us from France. Created all the way back in 1884, La Marquise is different to other cars, and instead of using gasoline and a combustion engine, it was powered by steam. This made it almost a hybrid between car and a steam train, which is one of the many reasons why it's so unique. It was an early example of a vehicle with four wheels and four seats, something that comes as default on all modern cars, but which was revolutionary at the time. It also won the world's first car race in 1887, after averaging 26 miles per hour as it sped from Paris to nearby Neuilly. Because this was a one-of-a-kind vehicle, instead one that rolled off the manufacturing line in droves, there's only one of these in existence, and it was sold at auction in 2007 for over $3.5 million. Not bad for a car that takes half an hour to warm up before it can drive anywhere. Number 7. Bicycles. 1817. The bicycle is such an iconic invention that a whole bunch of people have tried to claim credit for it, to the point at which it's tricky to tell which one of them are telling the truth. The best I can do here is to discount any unverified claims and go with the first ever proven example of a bicycle, which came about 200 years ago back in 1817. There is a sketch dating back to the 1500s by one of Leonardo da Vinci's pupils, but it's since been described as a purposeful fraud. There was also something called the Celebrifier, but it's thought that it never existed as a true two-wheeled bicycle. And so that brings us to 1817 and German Baron Karl von Dreis, who invented a device called the Dresin. 
It's believed to be the first commercially available two-wheeled and steerable bicycle, although it wasn't called that at the time. Instead, it was known variously as Laufmaschine, running machine in German, a velocipede, or a dandy horse. Most interestingly of all, there's some evidence to show that the Dressine was developed because of a crop failure in 1816, led to the widespread death of horses, and Vandreas wanted to find an alternative. On his first ever ride on June 12, 1817, he covered eight miles in less than an hour. Hardly Tour de France stuff, but not bad for a proof of concept. Number 6. Trains, 1813. The world's oldest surviving steam train is a vehicle called Puffing Billy, which was built between 1813 and 1814 by William Headley, Jonathan Forster, and Timothy Hackworth. They were working under the instructions of a man called Christopher Blackett, who owned a colliery near Newcastle in the United Kingdom. Puffing Billy was designed to haul coal from the mine to the docks where it was shipped from, which is a pretty common use case for early trains. When most people think of trains, they think of taking a ride on one. But while passenger trains are undoubtedly important, it's easy to argue that freight trains had more of an impact on our societal development. Puffing Billy wasn't necessarily the first train, but it's as close as we can reliably get. Up until that point, any trains that did exist were powered by horses or even cranked by hand. As you can probably imagine, powering a train by steam made it possible to move more coal with less effort. It is a testament to the skills of Billy's designers and manufacturers that it was able to stay in service for nearly 50 years before retiring in 1862. The engine's owners lent it to what would later become London's Science Museum, who eventually bought it. Puffing Billy is still on display there to this day. Number 5. Trams, 1807. There's something about trams that makes them seem old-fashioned, and it seems like there might be some truth to that because they have a history that dates back over 200 years. The first ever passenger tram was in the unlikely country of Wales, running on the Swansea and Mumbles Railway, which has a delightfully British name. Of course, I'm talking about a long, long time ago, predating even the first train, and so it should come as no surprise that the first ever tram wasn't powered by a combustion engine. Instead, it was pulled through the streets by horses. The Swansea and Mumbles tram started service in 1807 and was later converted into steam before being overtaken by the electric tram, which continued to run along the same line until the start of the 1960s. Of course, there were plenty of other trams around by that time, including the first tram in America in New York, which started service in 1832, and the oldest streetcar service that's still in existence is in New Orleans and was founded in 1835. That's not a bad run. Number 4. Hot Air Balloons, 1783 Hot air balloons are relatively simple, and so perhaps it's no surprise that they've been around for as long as they have. Once scientists understood the principles of physics and thermodynamics, the creation of the hot air balloon was almost inevitable. These fascinating creations are amazing and terrifyingly equal in measure, as well as one of the most unique methods of travel that we've covered. They also later developed into zeppelins, although they later fell out of favor after the Hindenburg disaster. The first ever manned hot air balloon flight took place in 1783, with Joseph Michael and Jacques Etienne Montgolfier taking to the French skies in an attempt to prove that their new invention was safe. Their first public performance involved them getting two of their friends to board the balloon before rising 500 feet into the air and spending a half an hour floating above Paris and coming to a safe stop in a vineyard. The rest, as they say, is history. Number 3. Tricycle, 1680 It surprises a lot of people to learn that the tricycle predates the bicycle by nearly 150 years, and it begs the question of why no one ever thought to remove one of the wheels. It likely comes down to balance and the relative difficulty of riding a two-wheeler. No one ever needs to learn to ride a tricycle. The invention of the tricycle is usually credited to a guy called Stephen Farfler, a disabled man who created a hand-powered three-wheeled vehicle to help him get around way back in 1680. But it's technically not a true tricycle as it was operated by hand. Farfler's design was inspired by watches because he was a talented watchmaker and it's a great example of how the best inventors are able to take inspiration from one field and apply it to a totally different one. In 1789, two French inventors called Blanchard and Maguire took Farfler's tricycle design and added a pedal. The tricycle as we know it now was officially born, and over the next hundred years or so, tricycle mania took over and the design continued to be refined and improved. Number 2. Tanks, 15th century 
Okay, now it goes without saying that fully mechanized tanks like those we saw in the Second World War weren't driving around battlefields in the 15th century, but the idea of them has been around since then, thanks to a man you might have heard of by the name of Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci is credited with the first designs of a number of modern vehicles, perhaps most famously the first ever concept design for a helicopter. But his tank design is particularly interesting because of how forward-thinking it was. This includes space in the armored chassis for outward-facing guns, as well as the best protection that was on offer at the time. Unlike the thick sheets of metal that protect contemporary tanks, Da Vinci went with wood. Da Vinci's tank design used wheels instead of tracks, which would have given it relatively poor maneuverability compared to the tanks we see today, and it was never actually built during the inventor's lifetime. However, a working replica was created in 2007 and displayed at Bulgaria's Sofia City Art Gallery. Number 1. Chariots, 2000 BC It should surprise no one to know that chariots predate all of the other vehicles that we've mentioned, dating back to around 2000 BC. The creation of the chariot was almost inevitable after the domestication of horses and the invention of the wheel. The oldest chariots that we know about were found in modern-day Russia, and they were likely used for warfare. It's believed that chariots were used during the Bronze and Iron Ages, and even after they were mostly retired from warfare, they still were used for races and official processions. Interestingly, the development of the wheel itself is believed to have happened somewhere near Russia and Ukraine, and so perhaps we shouldn't be surprised where these early chariots were found. It's thought that chariots were taken south as people migrated into Asia. Experts are divided whether Russian chariots are true chariots, with many researchers insisting that they're carts instead. However, whatever the truth is, I can safely say that chariots are the oldest vehicle on this list by thousands of years. Thank you to our channel members.